Welcome, welcome, welcome back to another episode of Genius Days. Today we're talking all about the Beast Sutras, okay? We're talking about sexual transmutation and the art of sexual transmutation. You know, sexual energy is very, very interesting. And we're going to dive all the way into, you know, how we can actually apply that in our lives. A lot of people like to talk a big talk about this topic. However, it's really important that you also do the practices. So bit of a disclaimer, you know, make sure you're 18 and above. Make sure you don't break the laws of the land. Make sure that, you know, you're not taking our information and, and misusing it and things like this. Obviously, just be smart about this. And yeah, guys, let's get started right away. So the way that I see this idea of sexual transmutation or, or sublimation, some people call it, is being able to use sexual energy, which is also creative energy, in whatever it is that you're doing, right? Gratitude, manifestation, um, even, even orgasm, right? Because orgasm is an energetic sneeze, which has that same potential for, <laughs> for being able to, you know, manifest. Like this is where, you know, the receptors, the pleasure receptors in our brain when we orgasm, it gets set off, right? And it's the same pleasure receptors that when we associate pleasure to something, like if we want to get a goal or we want to get an outcome or we have a drive to do something else, it's the same pleasure receptors that are being released in those moments too. So this is why really ambitious men or women even have very high sex drive, right? Um, and I think that the best healers also have a lot of sexual energy. So Sexual energy is, is very, very powerful. And I think that we've got to really start to explore it and transmute it. And transmutation is, is a process of transformation, right? So from something that it's at its base level to something of a higher paradigm, okay? So what do you guys think about this topic, man? And uh, whatever comes up for you. Yeah, so check this out, guys. What I was noticing right is there's so you know i've said this before there's fucking and there's making love right i've felt more energy like go up my spine and the activation of sexual energy uh of the kundalini energy when i'm it's more making love than it is fucking because fucking is more performance based right and it's more it's more it's less subtle, right? And so, you know, fucking, you got slapping, you got choking, you got hair pulling, right? But in making love, you have, you're really slow, really, really controlled, right? And that allows for you to pay attention to the, the subtleness of energy. Right, because it's the same reason why in Qigong they got they, we move extremely slow because only then are you able to perceive the energy, the electromagnetic field. Right, literally, just try this out. Right, go put your finger up, swipe it. All right, and then do it again but much much slower even slower than that ryan even slower even slower and so what you'll have noticed is that you sort of began to feel like the pulsation in your finger you began to feel the energy of your finger itself right versus the here was the 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 you all you you felt was the movement but you didn't feel the energy right that's the same thing so i've noticed that when i'm having sex if i just slow it down like really 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 slow right or i just leave my dick inside right and just like let it chill and like breathe in you know and you know be both you and the girl you know you take deep breaths as you're all the way deep inside of her, right? 
and you just focus on think about something peaceful think about something beautiful think about something that you'd like to experience right and this is a perfect time for manifesting because um what a lot of people are not saying is that all you have to do is feel good and it and you're more likely to manifest from a place of feeling good right and so if 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 you are in a state of deep appreciation with your girl right you deeply appreciate her body right you know you 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 are um giving yourself pleasure through her body that that's going to give her pleasure right versus you trying to please her and not please yourself that's not going to please her it's this weird this weird thing that happens right where like if you're like you're like if you feel like you're like uh uh um the what's the the word the word i'm looking for is like devour like but like but like uh divine uh, devour devotion right right you you're you're like embracing all of her body in this deep appreciation right and so if we look at the levels of energy appreciation and gratitude is very high up it is extremely high up and that is that's literally how you how you increase the vibration of of your sex now fucking is fun too it has its own place for sure for sure right but we're talking about specifically like that fucking is more for sexual release a, a stress release like i'll fuck when i'm stressed you know right but when i'm not stressed and and i, and I, I slow it down a lot more right and i can really breathe in and focus think put my attention into each stroke and breathe in deeply and sort of allowing the sexual energy to expand throughout my whole body and expand beyond my body because your chakras are not just in one spot right your chakras are a full body experience right we just break them down into seven individual spots because it's easier to understand but you see they're all all chakras are in communication with 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 all the other ones right so well, essentially what you're doing is you're getting your one area of your body is getting into communication with the rest of your body right cuz like let's just say like when you're horny it's sort of just in your mind it's 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 like it's in your body but it's very much a mental experience that you're having right um and so that's a sexual it's sexual energy but you see your experience in here right and or let, but like let's just say if you're experiencing deep deep love right deep like real real love well what's going to happen is when you feel love you feel safe right that's what that's the feeling that love you you feel extremely safe your whole body feels that your whole nervous system reacts to it right and so you see and we just all of all we do is slow down and appreciate right as we're having sex oh my goodness bro the manifestation the levels of manifestation that is going to be happening in your life is just of epic epic proportions right but you got to really you got to really like 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 love this girl's body you know Oh man, are you frozen? Oh yeah, he's frozen. Ah, uh, okay. So, oh yeah, okay, you're back. Like literally, like like just grab her leg. It, it doesn't even have to be a sexual body part. Grab her foot, 
but just hold it and appreciate her and appreciate every single aspect of her whole body. Grab her hand and put your ha her hand on your face and move her hand through your body and totally appreciate that hand. It's not just the appreciation of the pussy, the ass, or the tits. It's the whole body. Whole body. And then that's how you start having sex with your whole body and not just your dick. Y'all fuck with that? Because I do. <laughs> I'll pass it on. I'll take it over, man. Man, what you said about two parts. One, loving all her whole body and then fucking her with her whole body. That's beautiful, man. Because even I am starting to realize, oh, I have been playing this game completely wrong. It's, it's like what those BGJ experts say. Why would you just focus on a small percentage of the body, why not express it all? I'm like, yeah, I think you're making a lot of sense though. Why not love the full being in the then and the now? It isn't that the most pure expression of sexuality? You know what I mean? I'm like, bro, I, I thought it was good until I met you. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's like, I, here I was trying to focus more on performing, not realizing the, the proper performance is the pure and honest enjoyment of the moment. That's that what it was missing. I get it now. I get it now. Sumit, what is your take on that? I fucking love it, bro. <laughs> You're speaking my language, brother. I know. Um, <laughs> So uh, basically, man, we, we live in a very ADHD generation. What I mean by that is just, you know, we've been conditioned to have instant gratification and just, you know, we want things immediately. And the thing about it is it's almost like if we're not taking it slow, we're, we're trying to skip to the end of the movie, meaning it's like, oh, I need to nut, like I need to get to the orgasm, right, to feel some sort of pleasure. But it depends not where you're going, which is the orgasm. It's where you're coming from, right? So if you're coming from that energy of pure awareness of love, of <laughs> yeah, Felix, thank you, man. Uh, that was my post today on the Rykov method. But yeah, um, Kareza, right, is an art form that practices very, very slow sex. Tantra is another example where <clears throat> the word Tantra itself means tan means to pull even in bengali it means to pull or to stretch right so we're stretching time we're and tra is basically an instrument so whether mantra is like um an instrument of words right of repetition tantra is a stretch instrument so basically like we, we must stretch the movie out you know, we've got to stretch the movie out and understand that it's not about the comfort zone where you, if you're so in the comfort zone and you're making love, you're going to fall asleep. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> that, that just sounds like the, the kind of consensus of like ultimate comfort is like that deep relaxation and peace where you just, you just start snoring. Right. But you want to get to the stretch zone from the comfort zone, the Tantra zone. Uh, and then you're going to be able to, you know, get that coiled snake going, or, or as people say, kundalini. All right, I learned this word the other day. Kunda actually is a pit, right? So it's the coiled snake in the pit. When people say, oh yeah, my kundalini is active. It's like, you know, well, is it out of the pit? You know what I mean? Like <laughs> the, the thing about it is we have these chakras, like Ivan said, you know, and there's a hundred and eight or 112, if you really want to count all of them. But, but the thing about it is, yeah, they're all bundles of these nerves, right? These nerve endings that are just there through these seven places, uh, seven locations, you could say on your body of these, these spinning energies, these vortexes of energy, right? And the thing about it is, uh, I got this technique from Mantak Chi, and I shared this in writing reality too. But basically, you want to shut down your sexual energy centers at night, right? You want to actually like close, you want to, um, 
you know, squeeze the perineum muscles. You want to uh, basically pull that energy up and basically closing. Because if you're leaving that sexual energy and it's going into your dreams, that's leaking. That energy is leaking into the subconscious mind for you. So when you have a practice of like, okay, right before sleep, you know, I'm going to shut down, just like shutting down your phone or like, you know, putting it on the charger, um, you're shutting down your, your energy centers. So you, you can do this visualization where you just imagine you're, you're closing all your chakras up like a little button. And I've been starting to do that. And I've just been noticing that my dreams are a lot more clean, uh, like not blurry, you know, just this, this weird enmeshment of like a lot of weird imagery but nowadays they're like really vivid and it's really interesting how how you know the subconscious world works sometimes like this but yeah super interesting topic uh did anything come for anybody as i was speaking yeah right here two things one um the moment you talked about the tempo of what what I perceive as a sexual energy temple, like it has a rhythm. I start to realize, wait a minute, it's the same thing with dance. Because you can dance on a two beat, which is fast. And it'd be very exciting, very HDHD, very fun, very footloose-esque. But once you slow it down to a four beat, it becomes a bit more sensual. Slow that completely to the eight beat. It becomes very erotic because we're feeling each other's vibe in the then and the there. And then I started to realize, wait a minute, dancing was originally meant as mating rituals. You know what I mean? Because you shouldn't just be good with the sword. You should also be good with dance. No. That being said, what you the point you made upon on the leaking of sexual energy, I did not know that existed. So without giving too much away, what would be the simplest solution for this? Either Ivan or uh, Sumit. You're, you're asking about not leaking your sexual energy? Yes, I am. Okay. Um, you can simply just uh, do a visualization of, uh, you know, uh, closing a vault, closing a, a window, closing a door, uh, putting a cork, you know, uh, <laughs> where, wherever you see like energy leaking. Uh, any one of these visualizations is very good. Um, and if you want to open up your sexual energy, you can do the same. You can say, I'm going to, open. you can just literally just use the subconscious mind of images. Yeah. And, and maybe because at the same time, like the chakras are still part of the mind, right? Because it's all mind. Remember? It's all mind. Right. And, and so, thus it becomes all in a state of mind and a state of mind being the visualization of locking. It was like locking the garage before, you know, head to bed. Yeah. yeah, I've never done that. That whole that I've never done that soon, but uh, it seems interesting about like like closing closing down energies as, as you're going to bed. So that's cool. I, I, I for, me, for, for bed. Yeah, I just I just don't use any mirrors in my room. That's one of my things. But what were you gonna say, Ryan? What I was gonna say is after you've closed it and you went to sleep and you've woken up, should you open everything up again, or how does that work? It opens up whenever you're aroused or engaged in any kind of, you know. Oh, sexual. so it's like an automatic garage. Okay, I get it. Yeah, it's more <laughs> about the intention is important. So like Ivan said, you can have a visualization. You can, um, you know, you can squeeze your muscles and like, you know, actually close it up like that. Um, it's about the maintenance, though. It's like, like, you know, when you're rock climbing, right? Uh, or something along like similar activity when let's use this example of rock climbing. So to rock climb, you need energy maintenance throughout your body. If you give too much effort into this one rock, your leg will slip or, you know, you won't have enough. So you need to have that energy flowing 
in all different areas so it's not leaking as you're climbing the rock. Does this make sense? Am, am I able to kind of articulate this? Yeah, it does. It's kind of like putting too much effort into one push or kick. It's, it's the same yeah. idea. You could overextend and fuck up. Exactly. Yeah, overextend. That, that's a great word for it. Yeah. You want to uh, have... Gio? I'm sorry, bro. I, I think Gio has a question. Uh, yes. Rose, uh, Samit, can you uh, mind re repeat yourself? You said uh, your chakras, your, your drinks became clear when, when you uh, stopped leaking energy from your chakras. Is that what you said? Yeah, so I noticed that my dreams got a lot more vivid and not as, you know, like blurry or like weird, like lots of images together, kind of like, I just noticed myself remembering clearly. Um, maybe it has something to do with the stress relief factor of it, because, you know, when you leak energy. I got you, because I'm about to put them in the oven. Yeah, so, so like when you're, when you're leaking energy, you're kind of like, you are splitting up your, your stress relief in a sense it's like you're not you're not fully uh i'm listening bro i'm sorry man uh could you mute yourself brother yeah so so basically like if you are leaking your sexual energy basically it's it's a process of like fragmented relief of stress right so you haven't fully it's like um you know, like, like in the process of like, let's say you're edging, right? Uh, you know what edging is, right? Not So it's like in that state, it's like if you just go to sleep and you don't close it down, you know what I mean? If you don't close down the energy centers, it's going to go into your dreams and you might have some bizarre sex dreams or, or something like this, right? It might just go off and drift off into the world, but you haven't fully closed the loop or the gap in your mind. You see what I'm saying? So we need to go through our thoughts, whether they're sexual thoughts or not, just our thoughts in general and add full stops to them, right? You don't wanna go to sleep with a dot, dot, dot. You're gonna stay awake or a question mark. You see what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. You gotta close the loop of, of this energy as well as thoughts and, and different things. Yeah. Does that make wow, sense? Man. Yeah, that's very interesting. That, not, that's a deeper explanation, wow. Wow. Okay. Uh, that, that explains a little bit of my experiences a lot better. Okay. Wow. Thanks, man. Yeah. That's awesome. definitely what I want. Yep. That's lit. I want to talk a little bit about orgasm now. Um, actually, I want to talk a lot about orgasm. <laughs> so I remember I used to have sex with the goal of orgasm. And uh, I still do sometimes, you know. You know, not all my experiences are, not all my, my, my sexual encounters are, you know, a tantric sex. Um, but what I noticed is that when I'm making love, It's not about the orgasm anymore. It's just about if I if I orgasm, that's nice. If I don't, that's also okay. But it's it's about the total appreciation of being in that present moment. And when we step out of that aiming for orgasm, we're actually stepping out of this old 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 vintage way of being uh, because i mean who who do you guys know that only has sex for orgasm just animals right they're unconscious about what they're doing and they're all, they're only having sex for uh, mating purposes um, I'm not, I don't know. I think dolphins are also the ones that have sex just for fun. I think I've heard dolphins are also pretty advanced in terms of their intellectuality. 
they got really big brains. And so my dog snoring. And so when we just uh, enjoy the sex for the sex instead of the sex for the ener the energy release that we get um and you'll notice that that the energy will start to build up like big time right and so cuz you're not forcing it out that's the thing you're not trying to push it out right is something that is gradually building on upon itself, right? And then it gets to the point where you're like, and it's it's also not like edging though. Cause edging is also like, you're still trying to push it out and then you stop it, you cap it. This is just gradual buildup of energy, right? And then when when you finally, your body in the, ener in the energy wants to release, it is such a pleasurable orgasm. It like, it is a it is it is a full body orgasm. It is one of those fuck, bro. I'm fucking taking a nap now. You know, <laughs> I just need to sit down and relax for a second now, like for a minute or whatever. You know, I'm getting a call. Hold on. And then so now we want to talk about female orgasm. Clitoral orgasms are so last year. <laughs> you know, they say that only a small percentage of women can can have an orgasm, a vaginal orgasm. And that's true because they're not having proper sex. They're not having like like they're not using sex to its fullest potential right because hold on fuck i gotta reply to my mom real quick in la sala okay yeah so having a fucking clitoral orgasm bro is, is oh fuck i guess i brought it with me um it's kind of like you have to use so much energy to make it happen like really 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 like it's kind of and then it becomes performative at that point because you're just focusing on her clitoris with your fucking hands you know what do you you can't you can that's the only thing that you can fucking properly touch a clitoris with is her hands and your tongue and that's pretty much it you know like it's kind of hard to have to for you to uh enjoy you know your pleasure as well you know because you're not getting pleasure from that you might it might please you to see the pleasure that she's getting but really really at like at a nervous system level it's not happening and so uh one thing uh that i do is uh you guys can steal this from me i tell my girl here get on top and give yourself an orgasm All right and um and uh, it's very powerful. There's like so many like like nice spots, and then with like my wand, you get to hit all these different spots. It's easier to direct your penis when she's on top, right? It's so just giving her like like um, freedom, right? And at this point, you get to relax, right? You know, one of the biggest issues is like. With, with with what I've in the past, what I've noticed when girls are on top, it kind of sucks because they don't fucking, they're not even fucking like doing shit, you know, like they're just like, it's very difficult. And then you fucking, you lift up your fucking hips and you start fucking her from there or whatever, you know, because cause it, it got boring or whatever. Um, And so that is one of the issues that girls have is that they suck at fucking too, right? Um. Not all of them, obviously, but, you know, generally speaking. And same with guys. A lot of guys, they're not uh, taking advantage of the sexual energy. And so with your partner, um, 
it's uh it just give you some you go give yourself some like space to explore and to have fun and to uh get to know each other's bodies you know um because your bodies are going to be different and you know you no no two girls are the same um but it, but they're all they're going to be very similar of course and so um let her explore her pussy with your dick right like you 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 have your your exploration and now give her the chance to you you lay back you're facing you know you're on your back your dick is facing up she sits on your dick and uh and just tell her like you know explore your pussy with my dick and i want you to i want you to feel like you know give her commands like I want you to I want you to rotate your hips and I want you to feel my dick and the head of my dick or you don't have to say your dick either you can you can use really cool names like you can say like my magic wand my energy sword right and uh and use the head to glide and move around and find the spot that really activates you right you know and you just you're just telling her like you know what to do and, and like i said you can use really cool words you know you know like you doesn't have you don't have to use like basic words you guys can go into a place of fantasy you know um like a lot of times i'll i'll even say oh hey like now like i'm a jaguar and i'm in the forest right now and you're my i don't know my hunt or whatever right uh sometimes you know it gets a little bit more uh uh dominating more dominating energy right and i'll say something like you know when i'm fucking her and i'll, I'll say shit like i am your god right or i'll say things like i'm going to eat your soul i'm finding girls like that one you know like from like we're, they want to be like owned you know uh like secretly they want to be owned but obviously like like within their relationship not anywhere else right that is, that is just that is just something ingrained inside of the woman right so when she's your woman like she has to feel like this isn't my pussy that's his pussy right um and one of the like something I'll, i'm going to be trying soon it's like i'm going to like pull out a marker you know while i'm fucking and i'm going to be like all right now write on yourself and i'll tell her you know whatever i want her to, to write on herself right you know like property of i don't know get hundred or cost up or you know something like you know clever like that you know like and and i know she's going to love it you know she's going to love it and so like uh these are just like some cool fun ways to like just begin to explore uh sex a bit more and uh finding um you know the balance between between pure love and switching it into pure domination and but obviously taking into account that like um whatever level of vibration you're at right and then what is your intention right you know that that is always always goes back to intention if i'm going to be you know like increasing um the part of her in our relationship that increases our love right that increases our bond to each other obviously you can take it slower but it, at this point maybe you're like okay now uh, my intention now is for her animal side to submit right cuz she's got like her divine self right you know we're multidimensional beings so she does have her divine self and that's when you use the making love but she also has a fucking animal she's a fucking wild beast right and now i'm going to go in and i'm going to activate that too, right so yeah just playing with the intention and playing with each other's bodies
man. That was that was just a lesson. <laughs> Shit, yeah. Yeah, I felt like that was a class, like just like Yeah, I have this. nothing to add to that, Ivan. At this point, I'm like, fuck it. Keep talking, Ivan. I have whoa. We are in man, you went session deep, like a Romeo, man. <laughs> <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> Casanova. What can I say? I like sex. <laughs> Man, I I like what you said about the word, you know, the bond, right? The bond that's created because we use this word sometimes to describe that connection, which is affection, right? Affection. And if you look up the root etymology of the word affection, you will find that it means to influence, okay? Now, influence is a feminine energy, just like seduction is a feminine art form. Venus, right? The goddess of seduction and love. And so start to understand that to seduce someone means to lead them but to lead them astray, but also to lead them, right? So in, in the process of, of making love, you want to lead. And it's important that you have that leadership, but it's also important to recognize that you need that affection, which is that feminine energy combining with the masculine leadership, which makes it an amazing experience. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, man, I had a question, uh, which I think you would all appreciate because it is a, uh, a rum rumination upon your video where you mentioned that, where you compared, uh, you compared seduction and impact. And I thought a little bit about it, also with Alejandro and my own experiences. And what I figured is it's somewhat connected. Uh, the impact is something that we would, con we would create more of doing no fab, for example. Uh, in my own experience and insight, I think impact comes from two plus chakra, from the second plus chakra, while the seduction is more of a root chakra, predominantly, right, from my experience. So, okay, so, right. However, we cannot create impact because impact is we cannot create impact without seduction, fundamentally, because seduction creates al an alternative route. It creates space to go, and nobody is going to go there unless it's very seductive, and they want to go there, or unless they are uh, made to go there through impact. However, if there's only impact, then there's, that's more tyranny. And it makes sense what, what Rush said on, the, on like the USA coming with an NLO um, war, right? That was only, if you remember that one, it was only about impact made. However, it wasn't seductive. When, if, they, if they used that force with no alternative, that wouldn't be seductive. And that wouldn't be useful. So what's 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 the point from that of that? It is impact is more potent when the path, when a better alternative to the current path has already been presented. Yeah. Is that common with you guys? Can you see that? Are we talking about something here? I can definitely see it. I agree with you. I agree with that statement. I think it's a it's an interesting theory. And it's yeah, I'll have I'll have to reflect on it. You know, I'll have to reflect on it more. But um just just speaking about impact, man. Ivan sent me this freaking chant, Mars chant, bro. Oh my goodness. When I listened to that, I started like, I almost started crying, bro. Like, it was like, 
I, I felt the pain of the people of ancient Egypt or something as I listened to that chant. Uh, what, what, what was it called, Ivan? It was like a Mars energy chant or something. Yeah, bro. It was a, it was a, a, a chant to invoke the ruler of Mars. When I first started listening to it, dude, um, I haven't listened to it in a minute, you know, but when I first, because I guess it already did what it had to do. But man, dude, I swear, dude, you feel fucking, like you really, you sit down, you sit down in a, in a private space, you know, and and call upon like this, this, this god energy of mars and what it represents of power and ruling ruler yeah that that's how i felt man felt like a ruler it's exactly how i felt bro um like just like like uh those movies um where where the guy this like he's like on a throne on and uh and like he's got like he's, he's like it's like a stage throne you know so he's very high up and he can see like all the people and he's decked out in gold and right and he's got his fucking armor on right bro like that whole visualize that's a perfect song for uh visualization uh, whoever wants it um i could send it to you guys just just obviously my uh, ryan okay i got you felix just uh you guys can just message me or in the chat right here <laughs> And I'll, I'll send it to you guys. For sure. And I'm going to link it to the, when I post this on YouTube, I'll link it in the, in the description as well. So people can find it. That's lit, man. All right, man. Uh, guys, we're wrapping up. Any final questions that you want answered? I have no questions. Just a key takeaway on using this creative energy is using it as, as an actual tool with someone else. Meaning it could be used for healing, meaning it could be used for manifestation. So especially Alejandro, I appreciate what you did in this podcast. Dope, man. I learned a lot. I appreciate it. Uh, Felix, Gil, anything else? No, man, that was, that was incredible, man. I, I definitely learned some difference. Never hear anybody read or, or hear. That's, that's really badass, man. Uh, I myself haven't had relationships like, like really at all. It, so it helps me out a lot, man. Take it to the next level. Appreciate it, man. Dope shit. Dope shit. Felix? Yeah, I could ruminate about it. I could come up with some questions we all <laughs> ask ourselves. Yeah, for example, why aren't more women chasing us? I think that's a good reframe. We know too much. We know a lot. We know, I think we know too much, man, for like the, for like an average guy. I, 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 was, I was just on Instagram, man. And like normal guys get chased. What's up with that? I mean, I'm from Croatia. You're not, so. Um, I get chased. I don't know, man. It's a you thing. It's a you thing. You just gotta put yourself out there, bro. Uh -huh. Let yourself be seen. Yeah. And uh, and uh, have an, have a hold an image inside of your mind of who you want to be and how you want to feel. Uh -huh. And uh, through the law of. Um, of uh, energy exchange and people will feel your energy and uh, gravitate towards it. Uh, um, acknowledge that you are a sexual being, right? And acknowledge that you like her sexually and, um, you know, treat it as that's totally okay thing, you know? Uh, but also like still like maintaining your purpose, keep going on your purpose, you know, like, you know, Inside of you, you must see yourself as a celebrity, uh -huh. right? Because those are the people, those are the kinds of men, women have no issue throwing themselves at them. No issue, literally. No embarrassment, no remorse. They give zero fucks. They want that man. 
you know? And so you can embody that energy of a celebrity, you know? Facts, man. And I just want to say like to, to change the word chase to, to magnetize, I, I think would be even better because, you know, yeah. all about that magnetism over achievement, right? Oh, yeah, I got a couple notches on my belt. You know, it's like, instead of that, it's more like, hey, they, they entered my fucking wormhole. You know what I mean? Like they, they just saw this guy and he was like, they were like, holy shit, I've never experienced anything in my, in my feminine reality of this. And that's fucking special and unique, you know? And so um, I would say to definitely like speak, speak to their anima, you know, speak to that, to that feminine essence mm -hmm. in them, mm -hmm. because that, that definitely attracts, there's like a magnetism to that, you know, by itself. And yeah, magnetism over productivity in this case, you know? Or, I can yeah. even give it a, a, a practical twist as we get to learn from each other what I start to realize from each and every IMC member, including the tribal leaders, is success leaves clues. Always. So what so if you look at the core of what Ivan is doing, is his inner reality has become so solid and so optimized for the lifestyle that he wants that of course his out of reality will change. I mean. Every like small soundbite that he has given us is a clue to how he has gone through an internal alchemic process, let's say. It's the same thing in how we change a business from the inside so that the outside can change. So it's literally, when I was, <laughs> it, it, this, is, this is fucking funny that I have to say this. When I was doing my cold shower routines and recording and putting it up, I was attracting a certain crowd that I didn't necessarily agree with. Mostly uh, getting comments from homos and shit. But besides that, it did happen. Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. That shit happened to me too, bro. I was like, what the hell, man? Where are all these man, fucking, fucking babies shit was coming embarrassing. from? Oh, God. Man, what one fucking did an inquiry. Like, like bro, I will... <laughs> He bro, basically gay niggas is too much, bro. Gay uh, niggas is too much. Like one major joke, bro. You're always uh showing the upper part, never the down part. What's up with that? And I was like, bro, we can't be friends no more. <laughs> yeah, I'll, 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 that's true, just fucking like don't even engage with shit. <laughs> but it's it's, it's 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 like literally you, you already have a lot of references with the IMC. Look at uh, Paradox Vibe is, is a great example of demonstrating masculine strength for, from a very raw perspective from his martial arts to literally powerlifting. This is some heavy as weights. Hexen is also a great example with the throwing of knives. I don't have room for that, but that shit is cool as fuck. And it attracts a certain crowd. With a certain crowd, there comes a certain type of woman. You see what I mean? So it's literally, and God, I wish you were there yesterday with the uh, writing reality because we kind of went over that, didn't we, Alejandro? Um, in terms of really creating our world, yeah, right. That's kind of what what it is, bro. Um, and 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 like us, like we we well, the whole thing about writing reality is to give you a lot more certainty about where you're gonna go, right? And if you have more clarity, like it's third eye centered clarity is like a third eye thing like you know it's like your ability to see you know um and uh and it also has to do with your how who you think you are inside of the story taking place inside of the world right so you have your own story but then it's who are you inside of the story inside of the story of the world right um that's like something really cool. Uh, but yeah, man, this is one of my, my favorite, favorite topics. I like talking about this kinds of things. And uh, for sure, we'll have another one of these conversations sometime soon. Absolutely, man. It's all about that. Like that mastery energy is, is incredibly magnetizing. You know, like, like uh, Ryan said, hex and throwing knives or, you know, everyone has their own thing. Everyone has their own toolkit, 
in a sense to explore. You know what I mean? So it's just about fine tuning that if you want to be the marketing guy and you go all into it, you're going to start to notice some marketing niche women who are going to slowly start to gravitate towards you. You know what I mean? Like, but oh, you got to, I had, I had this, I had this, uh, scenario, bro. <laughs> Basically I met a chick who wants to go marketing, right? A uh, pretty open, third eye open, right? Very intellectual, like sharp kid as fuck, man. I was in a relationship. So I think I sabotaged some shit where I was just pussy, but man, you know, yeah, what you're saying is right. Do you guys want to talk about next week, next Sunday? Um, I'm thinking out. Uh, we should talk about like exuding masculinity and we could talk mm -hmm. about like, uh, like, you know, what are the ways do that it. we're, let's like, do it. I say, yes, right? you have my phone. I'll pay you for it. <laughs> That's how you vote. I'll pay, I'll pay you at least a dollar. The house about that. <laughs> Dizzy, Dizzy the other day, he donated, he gave me uh five dollars. Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was cool. He says, he says that in his country, that's like a day's work. I was like, God damn, nigga, I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna move over there, bro. I'll move over there, bro. I'm gonna be okay. Rich where does you live? That's where did, just... where did... <laughs> somewhere in somewhere in Eastern Europe, probably. Is that Romania? Is that Croatia? Kind of middle. I think Did so. you say Croatia? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> no. Just to roast Our daily is 20. 30. 30 bucks. No, I live in the Netherlands. Us is way higher. Oh, Netherlands is most expensive for sure. Oh, hell yeah. Netherlands, the whole West Block, expensive. We aren't great, but bro, I buying a house here, forget about it. But you need at least three jobs to buy a house. Forget about it. Forget about or, it. Or think about this. Maybe instead of getting three jobs, just be really good at one thing world's best at that well said, well said. <laughs> well said. Okay. you know as joe nicasio says don't be the light bulb be the laser beam because the same energy in a light bulb is in a fucking laser beam so you got to be that laser beam man well said well said and on that same note major and major things do what counts that's all you have to do man and on that note yeah yeah so it. should we take it away Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. <laughs> <laughs> Comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget yeah, to, to sign up for my OnlyFans and shit. Uh, donate snack. to a charity. Uh, now visit the temple. Uh, donate yeah. to your local church. Now help some OCD people. To stop praying and shit, you know. Um, what else? And you know, y'all be some sexy ass sexual motherfuckers out there. Goddamn. All you brothers, take care. Take Peace care. and love, bro. Peace, Peace and love. Peace and love.